hello, and welcome back to Fox News. It's November 10th, 2020, and I'm your host, Harold Johnson. Today we bring you to Hamilton, Ontario, where a group of anti-mask protesters have gathered and are spreading their message, and according to them, not COVID-19. Why don't they like wearing masks? What do they know that we don't? Do they just need to be shown how to put one on? To answer these questions and many more, we're going to go to our reporter in the field. Hi, Ron. Can you hear me? Hi, Harold. Yes. I hear you loud and clear, buddy. We... Uh, I'd just like to clarify for the folks at home that Ron and I are, in fact, not actually friends. Well, okay. We're here at the protest, and it's being led simply by a man known as Richard. I got one thing to say to maskers. Show me one time they wear a mask in the Bible. I never heard of Jesus Christ wearing a mask. You know who wear a mask? Satan. Yeah! Riddle me this, maskers. If masks were, riddle me this. Why did my brother wear a mask and still get chlamydia from my wife? Because they don't work, folks, that's why. Okay. We're gonna try to find some people to talk to. No. Sir, excuse me, sir. Oh, what's up, brother? Hi, sir, I'm with Fox News. Can we ask you some questions? Wait, is this the real news or the fake news? Uh, I'm just kidding, nothing's real. We live in a society created by higher beings with super powerful computers. Wait. So, do you believe in masks? Nah, they're proven to cause autism, but that's just me, brother. Okay, uh, this interview, th thank you for your time. I think we're done. No, wait, please ask me one more question. No, it's okay. Please, will you come hang no. out my place? No, it's, it's okay. No, it's, it's okay, sir. <sighs> that was a close call. Hello. Okay. Hello, hello, sir. Hello. What, what are your thoughts on this protest? Well, being an MD myself, I do believe that masks are absolutely no good. They hinder one's ability to draw oxygen from the air, therefore decreasing brain activity and destroying gray matter. That sounds bad. It's terrible. Oh. For example, my mask-wearing mother's brain cancer has only worsened since she started wearing a mask. Of course, I'm withholding medication. They only do more bad than good. All right, y'all, we got a special treat for y'all today. This is my main man, DJ Earsauce. We just got a special announcement from our scientists. Are y'all ready to hear it? <coughs> they just told us that COVID-19 is just as bad as the flu, and the flu doesn't kill people. How about that, y'all? <coughs> So I just want to know why we got to close the economy for a flu. How about that? Why? I don't understand. Yeah. My scientists know way more science than all the damn liberal scientists combined. How about that, y'all? Thank you, and God bless. We're going to see if we can get some words from Richard himself. Excuse me, Richard, sir. We here with Fox News and like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Oh yeah, brother. What do you think the government's real reason is behind the mask mandate? I think it's two things. I think they're trying to restrict the oxygen that we can breathe, you know, make us stupider so they can install their communist ideas. And I think they're trying to keep us from speaking they, so we can't, they can't hear us. They're trying to censor us. Can you hear me right now? I cannot. Hey, Ron, ask them why they don't just wear them under their noses. Okay. Why don't you just wear them under your noses? That's what I do, folks. It's way better. That's a great idea, brother. Thank you. I guess that's all for this interview. Back to you, Harold. Thank you, Ron, for that terrible segment. Join us after the break to find out why I am so smart and so handsome. Thank you.